Now imagine renting your car for your family vacation and you're driving along and then police pull you over and actually draw their guns on you because they think your rental car is stolen. Some customers are now suing Hertz rental car, saying that that's exactly what happened to them. One of the renters you're about to hear from even landed in jail. This is a News Nation exclusive investigation. Here's our investigative correspondent, Rich McHugh. I started seeing black. Like, I was so nervous. I didn't know what was going to happen, if I was going to be alive tomorrow. I wasn't sure. Christina Geider's family vacation turned into a nightmare in an instant. I remember just, like, seeing sirens and was told to move on the side of the road. There was guns drawn on us. They were telling us to get out of the car. They have opened the trunk of the car to search the vehicle. Hertz, the company her aunt had rented their car from, had reported the car stolen. I remember them putting my mom on her knees and drawing guns at her. And my aunt was like screaming. My brother was screaming, crying. I was crying. My mom was crying. And my mom just like, kept telling the police officers that stop aiming the guns at my kids. They're going to be kids. Christina's aunt, Kelly Grady, had rented the car, called to extend her contract, but Hertz reported the car stolen. Grady showed troopers her contract, and they called Hertz. The rental company admitted that the vehicle was not stolen. The police report calling it a, quote, miscommunication regarding an overcharged credit card. Grady was released, no ticket or citation given. But months later, she was arrested in New Jersey, put in jail, charged with three felonies and one misdemeanor. Ultimately, a judge dismissed all criminal charges, and in a civil suit she filed against Hertz, a jury found Hertz liable, awarded her $100,000 for malicious prosecution and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Have they ever said sorry to you? No. They haven't said sorry to me. They haven't said sorry to my aunt, my family. Now, Guider, who was in the car at the time of the arrest, is suing Hertz for mental and emotional damages. So are 165 others in a single mass tort action, like Julius Burnside, who say they were falsely arrested, even jailed, because Hertz filed police reports saying the cars they rented legitimately were stolen. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think it was real. Like, you, you're telling me I got a warrant for my arrest for something I paid for. That's not possible. Did you ever say, Hertz, look, yeah. I have the receipts, I have my bank statements, yeah. you guys are clearly in error? Yeah. And what did they say? Uh, I got to take it up with the police department. So I called the detective and he was like, Hertz put out a warrant for your arrest, saying that you stole a rental car. And I was like, well, sir, I got receipts, bank statements, everything to show that I didn't. And I was like, you know what, I'll turn myself in because I don't want the problem. I don't need you coming back to my job. I don't need you coming back to my, you know, where I stay. So let me understand this. You turned yourself in. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting in jail, and what's going through your mind at that point? Telling myself I'll be in jail a week. I kept telling everybody I'll be in jail a week. Once I go to court, they see my paperwork, I'll get out of jail. According to the lawsuit, he was released, but then missed a court date, which resulted in his rearrest and detention. That week went to two weeks, it went to three weeks, it went to the, the district attorney and the prosecutor not answering their phones. Seven months later, I was forced to sign a plea deal to get out of jail. Then, a Georgia court, after looking at all the evidence, ruled that Burnside had in fact paid for his rental. It withdrew his guilty plea and dismissed the case entirely. Everything was dismissed, overturned. I cried. I cried, no. Seven months is a long time yeah. to sit in jail yeah. for something that you did not do. Mm -hmm. Hertz declined our request to interview on camera and would not comment on these two cases, but says in a statement to News Nation, the majority of these cases involve renters who were many weeks or even months overdue returning vehicles and only reports to authorities after exhaustive attempts to reach the customer. Hertz has said it goes to great pains to locate vehicles before it reports them stolen. What's your response to that? I think that's lip service. Hertz also says that these claims are meritless. It's not one case, it's not two cases. It's hundreds. In fact, court documents suggest that Hertz knows what's going on, keeping an internal database of every case since 2008, documenting complaints and renters suing them for false arrest. Hertz keeps a record and a spreadsheet of when this occurs. They know it's a systemic issue that is occurring all across the nation, but they fail to recognize it and make the corrections necessary to be sure that this doesn't happen to others. When we asked Hertz about this database, they never responded. What would you like to see happen here? I would like parents to f know and to hear people's story. Nobody's being held accountable. They affect people emotionally. The fact that Hertz hasn't even said I'm sorry, hasn't corrected the record, 
and looks at this as simply collateral damage and these people's lives don't matter, it's disheartening to say the least. It needs to stop. For News Nation, Rich McHugh. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.